Hello everyone and welcome. I am Empress Queen Tay from Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle here on YouTube. And Miss Nicole from Spiritual Goddess Academy has blessed me with the opportunity to give you guys 12 exclusive readings, Tarot and Oracle. Okay, only here for exclusively, okay, exclusively only for Spiritual Goddess Academy, okay, such an honor and a privilege. I am so grateful to Miss Nicole and Spiritual Guides Academy. Okay, you guys, please do subscribe here to Spiritual Guides Academy channel. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about the videos. How did it resonate with you? Give us a thumbs up. Okay, please do that. Also, you guys, you know, tarot energy is fluid. Take what is for you. Leave what is not for you. Okay. Also, these messages are timeless. These messages are meant to find you and they're meant to find you, you guys, okay? So, get into this reading. We're going to open up with the Keepers of the Light Oracle deck, okay? And we're going to see what is coming out for you guys, okay? Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I'm going to be resonating with either now or at a later date. Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. Okay, let's see. Divine, Holy Spirit, what is coming out for the collective that I may be resonating with either now? Thank you. And we have Heart Awakening. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance, okay? And I feel like this is balance, okay? Balance coming through within your heart for this collective that I'm reading for right now, okay? There's a divine love. I feel like you're feeling the love from your ancestors, your spiritual guides, the divine Holy Spirit, God. You're feeling the love from the universe right now. Okay, your heart is awakening to something. You're seeing the beauty in something. You're unfolding beautifully in something here. Okay, and you're doing something within balance and balance is coming back to you because you're giving within balance. So you're going to receive something within balance too. Bottom of the deck, we have higher learning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. Okay, so I feel like for some of you guys at this time right now, okay, well, for a lot of you guys, I feel at this time right now, you've reached a point where you need to go into a little bit deeper. Okay, you've gotten this far, you know, this much. Now, what else is it can you learn? What else is there that you need to get another understanding or more understanding about? Okay, so we're going to go in <clears throat> with the Soul Journey deck. And we're going to see what soul lesson is coming out, what you may need to pay attention to right now at this moment. Okay, what the Divine Holy Spirit wants to call attention to. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energies. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. What is coming through for this collective? Okay, let's cut. Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming through for this collective? Thank you. And we have regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Okay. And then we also have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Okay. A lot of crown chakra, solar chakra, I mean sacral chakra going on here, okay? I feel like something is pulling this collective towards something, okay? I'm, I'm really feeling, you know, something about the past here that you worry and, and regret about, okay? But you're finding the confidence to let that go, okay? To understand that that is the past, you cannot change that, okay? That is courage, I feel a courage coming through, an acceptance, okay? Definitely accepting something now. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, give me one more card for the collective. 
collective that I'm reading for. What else is coming through? Thank you. And we have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with insight of in with the insight of awareness. Okay. So something that you may have not have thought about could have happened or did happen. I'm getting off of this card. Something you might have regret doing. Okay, now you have you're aware of this now. Okay, now you're building the courage, you know, to face it with confidence and move on from it. Okay. Bottom of the deck energy is peace. I bring Love, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Okay, so we're going to get some messages. Okay, no, Spirit says affirmation. So we're going to get an affirmation for the collective, Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit is coming through for the collective. What I'm reading for either now or at a later date are angels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. What is coming through? Divine Holy Spirit. What is this collective affirmation? Thank you. And we have I am safe. It's only change. I cross all bridges with joy and ease. The old unfolds into wonderful new experiences. My life gets better all the time. Okay. And I really feel like this is their heart awakening, their courage. Okay. Facing something, knowing that you are safe is just change. We're losing something. We're moving out of a denial, holding ourselves accountable for something that, you know, we had no, um, spirit is giving me, had no, um, like you had, you didn't have a say in it. Like you're holding yourself accountable for something that you couldn't possibly have changed or you couldn't have possibly have done wrong. And so now you're packing up, you're ready to go. You're facing this change with courage is what I'm getting off of this energy here. Okay. And we're going to go in with an angel. Oracle message, okay, Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, and Holy Spirit. What is the message for the collective? Thank you. And we have a miracle. Dearest one, even if all hope seems lost, let not hope slip away. For I, your guardian angel, am constantly by your side. Surrender all your concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone. Together we shall work through each issue or situation which is of concern to you. All heals with the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest. Beautiful energy. So there is a miracle coming in this change. And it's safe. Okay. I feel like I just took a deep breath. So I feel like it's just like an ease coming in. Okay. So we're going to get the wisdom of the oracle. And we're going to get um, a message from the higher self. A message from the ancestors. And a message from the guardian angels. Okay. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be connecting with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energies, please. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energies. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the higher self? Thank you. And we have here and now. Okay, here and now you're in this energy of being open to this change, this miracle. Okay, that is about you having this courage right here, right now. 
okay? You're in a peaceful state, okay? I feel like not letting the past hinder you and regret and denial and not letting the future hold you back either, okay? I think you're in a very peaceful, calm place. I just said that. I just took a deep breath. It was like relief, okay? Divine Holy Spirit. Okay, what is the other message for the higher self? What's the other? Okay, milk and honey. Okay. Here and now, milk and honey of uh, abundant life is coming in for you guys. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the ancestors? Thank you. We have come to the edge. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the guardian angels? What's the message from the guardian angels? And we have clean it up and never ending story. Okay, so it is something maybe you were in denial about, something you regretted in the past that you're needing to clean up, this story that you're telling yourself, you know, you're needing to clean all that regret, okay, that denial, okay, out of the way, opening your heart up to receiving, coming to the edge, this new abundance, okay, is what I'm getting off of this energy here. So we're going to go in with the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. And we're going to see what's coming out. Our Angels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, and Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into the energies. Yeah, right here and right now, whenever you're reach, whenever this message is reaching you, okay, you're operating from a hard space of courage. Okay, moving on, okay? Regret and denial can be some heavy burdens to carry. And you're, you're moving past that, okay? You're moving past that with confidence. And I feel like you're in a peaceful place. Or the your higher self wants you to know that a peaceful place is coming for you. This abundance is here for you, okay? No matter what, like the card says, what all hope and fear is lost here and now. Okay, your guardian angels are working. Surrender your concerns to them. Okay, I feel like that's what this come to the edge is about. You know, coming to the edge means allowing, you know, going to as close as you can get to, you know, manifesting what it is you want and reaching out to your divine team, to the source, to the universe, to God, to the archangels, your ancestors. Okay. This beautiful, loving dance you do with them, how they protect you, okay? No matter how close you are to the edge of falling off, you never do, okay? They have you. They are surrounding you, but they're asking you to clean up something, okay? This never-ending story, either in a relationship or a way of thinking, okay? So let's cut Divine Holy Spirit. What is the first card out? And this first card, you guys, is your energy. The second card is going to be what's grounding you. The third card is going to be your goals, desires. The fourth card is going to be energy surrounding what you need to let go of. The fifth card is going to be where to direct your energy and intentions. And the sixth card is going to be advice. Okay? And we're going to go on top of that with a three-card spread. Okay, and we have, okay, enjoy happiness and success is your energy, you know, because you're operating in an uh, awakening of your heart, so you're moving in a loving place, you're having courage, you're finding inner strength, so you're in a peaceful place right now, okay, and I feel like your spiritual team is telling you to come to the edge on something that they've been pushing you towards because there's abundance there. Okay. I feel like you got the sun coming out twice with this milk and honey. Okay. So that's the energy you're in right there. Divine Holy Spirit. What is grounding this energy? Divine Holy Spirit. What is grounding this energy? Thank you. 
and we have star ancestor follow your follow the voice of your soul and we have summer bask in light and joy okay basking in what this happiness you found in yourself this peace this letting go of releasing expecting knowing that something is going to come in for you no matter what the chaotic time is around you or what's going on around you i'm getting Okay, you're following the voice of your soul. You're listening to your ancestors. And they're just wanting you to come a little closer. Come on, come on a little closer. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on awakening. Keep on having courage. Keep, you know, replacing doubt with acknowledging that it's just awareness. This is, okay, I know this now, okay? Moving in uh, an, an energy of inner strength is what I'm getting off of this. It's what's grounding you, okay? Also tapping in, a lot of you guys are tapping in to your natal charts, astrology, okay, heavily at this time. I'm feeling also Divine Holy Spirit. What's the goals and the desires of the collective that I'm reading for? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, thank you. And we have Autumn and we have Lord. Take charge with authority. Okay, so around your goals, you have the Emperor energy. Okay, and you're having you're needing to release something. You're needing to release um something that is you know um for some of you guys dark toxic uh a way of uh judging something. You're needing to release that and operate in a sense of love, but also taking charge and knowing exactly what it is that you want pertaining to your goals. Okay, and spirit is giving me something about. Um, next year, winter time, something is going to be coming through. Okay, not regarding to this abundant life, but it's something else. Okay, something big. Okay, I'm hearing something about a reaching a, a, a weight loss goal for some of you. You're starting, you're trying to start a YouTube channel for losing weight or something like that. I'm getting or some type of channel. You're doing something and I'm I'm seeing next year something is really starting to take off. Spirit is giving me. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit. What is the energy around what the collective need to let go? Thank you. And we have Hermit Retreat and Recharge. Be open to healing information okay and i feel like for some of you guys you're on the go a lot okay you're on you're on the go a lot and you're needing to slow down you're needing to take more time out and meditate you're needing to get more rest okay you're needing to be able to be more open with this um come to the edge card and it's be open to healing information i'm feeling as well too so you're needing to let go of i'm feeling like the hustle and bustle you're needing to slow down a little bit to be able to be receptive okay be in a receiving state you need to be able to be in a receiving state spirit it just keeps telling me divine holy spirit what is the energy around where the collective needs to direct their intentions what is the energy around that divine Holy Spirit? Thank you. And we have stag, trust, and thrive. Your intentions need to be trusting in what it is that you're receiving, trusting in what it is that you're doing, what your spiritual team is trying to pull you to. Okay? Also in this clean it up, never ending story situation. Okay? Trust that when you clean this situation up and you view this story for what it is, you thrive out of that. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice or the outcome? What is the advice or the outcome, Archangels? Thank you. And we have shift your perceptions, Air Guardian. Okay. So I feel like this is a lot of dual action here. This is a lot of balancing that is going on here. I'm getting off of this energy. It's a lot of trusting your inner voice, your inner spirit, okay, your spiritual team, okay, I'm feeling. Also, with this shift your perception, the advice is to think outside the box, spirit is giving me, okay, to let something just flow, okay, that's the energy I'm getting here. So, we're going to go in with a three-card spread on top of this. 
Okay, past, present, future energy. And we want to get a card for advice. Okay. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. For some of you, there is something that is going to be following. There's something, I have the Tower Moment and the Two of Wands here. There is something that is going to trigger something in you that is going to, I'm hearing light fire under you. Okay. I'm not sensing that it's a bad thing. Tower, yeah, Tower, again, with the chariot. Okay, something is going to come through and it's, it's going to make you want to move forward. Okay. So, Spirit is saying, be receptive. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. Yeah. We have the tower again on the cup with the four swords. Tower at the back of the cup. <clears throat> so, something, a big moment is coming up for the collective. Okay. Big change is what Spirit is telling me. Okay, so don't be defensive of our Spirit is giving. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the energy around the past for this collective? What is the energy around the past? Thank you. Eight of Cups. You walked away from a situation. You walked away from a lot of, I guess, heavy emotions I'm getting off of this card. Okay putting a lot emotionally into a person or a situation. Divine Holy Spirit, where is the present energy? Where is the present energy for the collective that I'm reading for? Thank you. Full energy. Ready to go off and accept this change. Okay. Facing things with courage. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the future energy? What is the future energy? Thank you. King of Pentacles, and I feel this is very stable energy here. Okay, this is very much so, you know, being very grounded, being very abundant within self. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice? What is the advice? And we have that tower again. Some I, I feel like there is something that is coming in that is going to shake this collective up. Okay, if this message has been resonating with you so far, okay, on this journey after everything you've left behind, all the regret, all the denial, and you you have this courage here, moving forward with this fool energy. That's where you are, the sun. Okay, the fool. Okay, future energy is the king of pentacles here. Okay, and I feel like this is being very self-sufficient. And then advice, there's a tower. There's something that is going to come and shake everything up. Spirit is wanting me to clarify this tower moment. Divine Holy Spirit, what is this tower? Okay, we have the King of Wands. Divine Holy Spirit, give me some more around this tower. Thank you. Four of Cups. Divine Holy Spirit, what is this tower? Death. Okay, so I feel like this is you, um, the collective being in a very self-sufficient energy. And I feel like this is someone else's energy that's coming in, someone of the past, someone you left behind that is wanting to offer you something. But I feel like that ship has long sailed with this death card. You don't want to hear about it. So I feel like that is what's going to be triggering this tower moment here okay for others of you i i feel a sense of i'm sick and tired and i'm about to go out and i'm about to go out and accomplish something and somebody is coming in wanting to offer you something that you're just you're not having it okay with this death card is what i'm getting off of this energy too a lot of you guys were with someone who were you know just very stubborn very egotistical um you left that person Okay, very set in their ways, very, you know, thought they were, you know, just the it, right? Bag of chips, dip, cold drink, okay, the whole nine. But there's something coming in that's going to shake this person up. And it's, it's, it's going to be um, not traumatic, but dramatic is what spirit is giving me, okay? 
So with that being said, you guys, Divine Holy Spirit wants me to leave it at that. You guys, drop us a comment. Hit that thumbs up button, okay? Subscribe to the channel. Come check me out over on Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle, okay? I love you guys. Sending y'all nothing but beautiful, positive, abundant energy, okay? Until I talk to y'all again. Bye.